there's something that is in this book that was quite interesting. I love this imagery here. <laughs> there's a lot going on around, around here, but there is a place in the middle here. Never, Never give up. Give up. Ex 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 explain this, because I'm seeing a lot here saying, quit, 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 but in the middle. That Never is the peer up. pressure that we are in in our society. Kila moja mekwambia hai basi ujachoka. I'll tell you a story that is in my book. Of course, this is a story that is well known everywhere. Mm -hmm. Kuna kulikuwa na mashindano ya viura. Viura frogs. Eh? Mm -hmm. Kulikuwa na mashindano ya viura kwamba watu wameambiwa kwamba wote wapande the tallest building of a hundred flats. Wapande juu. Hiyo ndo mashindano wenyewe. Mm -hmm. So, wameanza almost a hundred of them. Lakini kulikuwa na watu katika grupu wanashangilia kwamba haya nendeni nendeni muanze. Kumbuka kuna maneno maneno wanatupa kila wakipanda, wanapanda, wanapanda, wanashindana kila mmoja. So the thing is, kila wakipanda, kuna wengine wananguka. Hmm. Wananguka, wananguka, ikafika paka mwisho yule alomaliza ni mmoja tu. Woto wakawashanguka. Alomaliza mpaka 100 floor ni mmoja. Sasa aulizwa wewe siri yako ni nini mpaka ukaweza kumaliza? Au wote wameshindwa? Kumbe frogel kwa kiziwi. Oh. You get my point? Kwa sababu hakusikia ile pia pressure ndo ameweza kumaliza. Lao angesikia ile pia pressure singemaliza na yapi angeanguka. And, and, and that's the problem, yeah? Yes. Tunapenda kusikiza, you know, watu wengine, uh, you know, what they say about us, what they say about our dreams, yes. what they say about our desires, what we want to achieve. We want confirmation. Si tu, we want to si kwamba tupenda kusikia no no. Mm -hmm. We want confirmation kwa sababu sisi wenyewe hatujiamini am I doing the right thing or not. Did, didn't you also have you know that desire for you know for someone to just tell you you can do it. You can make it. It's and, possible. And that is my role model. My grandfather was there. My parents were there. Uh, at least e kidogo ilikuwa kinisaidia mimi. Today I'm here. I have a doctor on philosophy and management kwa masala hayo hayo and I've been doing a research on psychology and philosophy kwa understand mpaka wandazimu to just sit and talk kumwelewa um wandazimu azungumza nini inaweza kana kumwelewa unaile tena believe me I'll tell you kuna mwandazimu mmoja I'll just tell you a story kuna mwandazimu mmoja mm. anapita akaona group ya watu wanazungumza maneno sawa sawa kila kipita anaita watu oh sikiza tizameni tizameni kulikuwa na paka pale paka kama group ya watu kama paka kumi. Akasema tizameni tizameni akachukua nyama akarusha kwa paka. Aliporusha kwa paka paka walianza kunya furana. Mm -hmm. What was he trying to implement there? Kwa nyinyi leo mwaketi mwazungumza mko sawa lakini kutaka porusha madonge hapa kila mmoja atakwapigana. Mm -hmm. You get my point? Mwandazimu huyo mm -hmm. anazungumza maneno hayo. Katika interview yangu I did a personal survey ku understand maisha ni kitu gani nikazunguka katika miji tofauti tofauti just ku understand views za watu. Mwandazimu amenipa jawabu kuliko watu walokuwa na akili yeye alozungumza na muuliza what is life anaambia nini ni, ni matendo ya kutekeleza mwanadamu It is all about your action <laughs> wow. Let's talk about this book mm. The Point of Deflection mm. you know and I'm and I'm seeing a very good imagery there Yes huh? mm. a, a chess chess board mm. huh? mm -hmm. I'm seeing a pawn here Yes huh? The point of reflection. This is where you know. This is now the difference maker. Yes. You know. This is now where things change because now you are able to you you are able to see how you know things are. How is it for you know? Isn't isn't life like a chess game, a game of chess where you have to lose one to gain the other? How is life for you? That's very true. Mm. I, I take it as a chess game. Kwani ni mimi ni make that cover page. Now kitizama. Me, I'm going with art, by the way. All my cover page is in a certain yeah, meaning. All of them. Yeah. Kwanza mwanzo tuanze na cover because okay, um, what you are, uh, they say don't judge a book by its cover, but let's be realistic. <laughs> una kwenda mwanzo dukani, una tizamele cover ni nzuri si nzuri. <laughs> in real sense, yo. The kukonondo ba ele sema eh. that if you say don't judge a book by its cover, eh. why do you have a bad cover? Then have a good cover so that yes. you, don't, you, you cannot be judged wrongly. Yes, yes. No, actually we judge each and everything. Domana ukitizama mtu, that's the first presentation when you been present mbele za watu, it tells a lot towards people. And that is the image, the point of deflection. The point of deflection, why do we change? Mm -hmm. Leo ni kiuliza, ukiwa wewe ulupo kwa meka mitano, kikuliza wataka kwa nani, ukina mbea daktari, pilot, or whatever you'll be. Bada meka ishirini, na kuliza swali ilu ilu, umechange. What change you? That is the question I'm answering there. Kwa nini wewe ubadilike? Is it peer pressure? Is it the circumstances? Is it your family? Is it the influence of friends? What is it? In this book, there's a place where you've written that mm. uh, there are those who, uh, you know, that 
when I studied this, uh, you know, th you, you talk about three teachings, mm. teaching aids. Mm. You say that uh, I realize that in life there are three categories of people. Mm -hmm. You said there are those who are hardened by life yes. and every experience they go through. Yes, that's the first category. Mm. There are those that are weakened, mm. and there are, and there are some that influences the environment depending on what they undergo. It's essential that uh, we all analyze ourselves and identify which category of people we belong to. Yes. Now, I'll answer that. Mm. Sasa hapo tutakuja katika swala moja. Nikikweka jikoni leo. Make, mm. I'll tell you, each and every place, it is a lesson. We are learning. Hata jikoni, kuna lesson. So I'll take you to the kitchen there. Yes. Tuseme, leo ni kupatia vitu vitatu. Mm. Karoti, mayai, na kahawa. Mm. These three things, ni kwambie, boil them. Yai, likienda ndani, it was liquidish, right? Mm -hmm. Ukieka katika maji ndani ya boiling water, inakuwa nini bada hapo? Ina kwa hard inside, right? Mm -hmm. Kisho kichukua kareti, ilikuwa hard. Ukieka ndana maji, ina soften. Ukichukua kahawa, the only thing that is different is ni kahawa. Ukitia ndana maji, kahawa haibadiliki. It is kahawa mbo inabadilisha ile maji, ina kuwa color, taste, na mm -hmm. kila kitu kama yake, hata aroma ina kuwa tafauti. Mm -hmm. So this is life in us. Karoti ni ile mtu ambao ameanza maisha kwamba his hard tough mm -hmm. mimi nitafanya nitafanya mwanaume eh hey, mwanaume but ile pressure ya maji moto inapokuchapa changamoto zile mm -hmm. you soften you get hey, weak unapigwa katika maisha mpaka una humble down ushai kusikia kofi mpaka mtu akakaa chini amekula <laughs> kofi <laughs> una humble mwenyewe <laughs> That's why in karoti, those these kind of people, kumba wameanza they think they are strong, lakini wakapata watu waka struggle enough, mbaka waka wame humble down, wameona hey maisha bana ni simchezo. Hapo nilio kweli ni mambo. Eh, sasa kisha kuna yai, yai mtu alianza ni imani, anapenda watu, anajaribu, ataka kwa watu wote mzuri, vitu kama hivyo. Then, ile maisha na pressure na vumpiga kila kiendelea anatafen 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 ndio unakuta mtu alipokuwa mzuri mwanzo ba, mm. baadaye unakuta amebadilika ah, umebadilika vipi maisha imeligeuza exactly mtu alikuwa mzuri sana kwa mbaya ama mbaya amekuwa mzuri the only thing ambayo it's different ambayo mimi na equate with coffee ni kahawa mm -hmm. kahawa ni leaders ambayo we need today leo kila mmoja atafuta mkiongozi ni nani we are looking for leaders but no one wants to be the leader as ile kahawa ni wewe ambao you can make changes tuzungumzie mtu kama Mahatma Gandhi ambao ni mtu mmoja tu at a population of 1 billion people leo the whole india imepata independence kwa mtu mmoja bila arm um, bila kitu chochote muda unatupa kisogo pia we can continue talking and talking but i love your story you know yeah. at the age of 18 mm. mambo yalibadilika yeah, yeah it changed me uh, ne Mm -hmm. uh, okay, uh, let's bring this discussion to a close. Yes. All right. Yes. You, you, you've written so many books, and I really wish you the best. Even as you bring this discussion to a close, mm. what word do you have? For, you know, people outside there. Kuna yule mbaya na kuangalia sa hizi. Amepitia jambo. Yes. You know, you know adju ya fanya VP. Mm. You know, sometimes you know the economy mm. yani mbaya pia. Yes, true. Pesa hakuna, yes, and true. that is where things get tough. What what do you have for someone outside there? And as you answer th th that question, maybe you can tell us, you know, how people can find your books mm. and how they can be able to get, uh, you know, a hold of you. Okay. Um, I love to live with one quote. And when I say, when you see a caterpillar, you never predict it will be a butterfly. Yeah. As a caterpillars are us. Isolated, despised, labda tumeitua dumb, stupid, everything. Medharauliwa. Medharauliwa, simtu. But everyone wants to surround themselves with a butterfly. Butterfly is your success. You'll get there. Lakini sasa, lazima kuna certain struggles that makes you go there. Kuna certain stages. Mimi na, na amini maisha ni sasa na ule mlangu wa kufunguka automatic doors zole. Kila ukifika a certain stage, the doors will open, but mm -hmm. you have to reach at a breaking point whereby one upper das halas imekwisha. Siyezi tena zaidi hapa. Pale, that is your breaking point. Aso uki give up pale, mm -hmm. ni sasawa na mtu anolima, anajaribu ku, 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 ku mine gold. Amekwenda, amekwenda meka kumi, amefika mahali kidogo tu. Aona bus, mepoteza meka mingi hapa, nimefika ni mwisho, kisho unaacha. While the other one, akija pale, akiendelea pale pale, within one day, amepata gold, unasema, ayo, misi nabati. Sio unabati. Mm -hmm. Ni kwamba, you are almost close. Mm -hmm. Kufika pale. 
lakini ukaacha ndio maana kuna msemo unasema mm-hmm. the, the darker the night the closer the morning kile ukiona shida zimezidi hapo ndo karibu kuna success inakuja <laughs> i love that mm. that is dr bahaidar and how can people get your books yes uh, my books are in amazon ziko kila mahali mm-hmm. kama uko america unapata europe unapata rahisi sana katika bookstore and all that uh, na hapa mombasa nimejaribu kuzileta ziko katika mombasa maka, uh, makadara ground opposite kuna kampuni ya burak haji na umra na gelato divino mm-hmm. there you can get my books kuna some contacts we can share with them and uh, Unaweza pata unaweza pigia simu na we can arrange and we can get the books. All right. Mm. I wish you the best. Eh? Then there are other five books that are coming up. Yes. I don't know when they will be out. Eh? Mm, mm. But uh, once they're out urudi tena. Tuzidi kuongea. Yeah. <laughs> Kama itapata nafasi maana tunalikwa sana nchi mbalimbali. Mm-hmm. I've been to so many places. Okay. India they invite me in Delhi, Malaysia, Th- Thailand, you everywhere. Travel all around ah, the world. Yes, a lot of places. I wonder how people who used to tell you you never amount anything. Si wana kuona vipi sasa hizi. But keep it KBC this is good morning Kenya. Thank you very much. That is Dr. Bahaidar uh, joining us this morning an author. We talk about the art of writing, how it has been the journey moving uh, uh, you know uh, around life breaking that glass ceiling being able to make sure that you get your own route your own pathway to success in your own way well my name is ram maguko keep it kbc